I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial because I've noticed there's not a lot of videos online on how to remove black backgrounds from effects on iMovie. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. All you're going to need is iMovie, obviously. Your effect that has not been pre-keyed, it still has the black background. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you need a green picture, bright green, green screen picture. Okay, let's get into it. I've noticed that mainly the magic and powers on footage crate are not pre-keyed, so that's what we're going to be doing today. To start, all you need to do is pick the one that you want to use in your video or your movie or whatever. I think I'm going to use this blue one. Just click on it, download Magic Spell 10, and let that load. I'm going to drag it over here next to our green picture. Now, let's get into iMovie and pre-key this thing. Get that black background out of here. Okay, so now we're in iMovie. We've got our clip that we want the spell on. So let's just run through this. Just someone slashing through the air with a wand or their hand or whatever. So what you're going to do is we're going to grab our little footage crate spell tin file. You want to drag it right on top like you would any other effect. Okay, we're going to split that and there we go. Trim it off right there. So we have this. There is a dog barking. Okay. You're going to want to select picture in picture as you would usually do. Double click that. Drag it over this side. So we need to find exactly where the spell should be. So it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. And come on, load. Hand has come down and boom, right there. So split that again. We don't need this part. So boom. I'd say right there about here. Now we want this going out of the frame. Make, maybe make it a bit bigger. So load. Coming up, slashing through the air, boom. We've got our little electricity laser beam. And let's say it ends right there when his hand goes away. So, pew. So you see, there is a black background. Well, now we're going to fix that. Copy this top effect clip. And you're going to want to go in. Create a new movie, no theme, let's say effect, click OK, and now we scroll down to where our green picture is, or just drag it in from wherever you have it downloaded, I have it on my desktop, desktop. pop it in right there. Go up to file. Um, not file, sorry. Edit. Click paste. Your effect should pop up right there. Now, as you may see, we need to trim this part away. So now we just have this on a green background. The first step is really important. You need to place it right where it needs to be because there's no more adjusting. Now for the quick bit, sort of. Double click that, go over here, the three little circles, click the none next to video effect. Come in, they might not all load, but you need raster. It's the one that puts the greenish lines through it. Double click your green screen, 
Um, if you want to go to colors, drag this guy back, this guy all the way to make it darker. The idea is to make this green match this one as much as possible. So, this will act good. This will make it look better also. Almost to the end, guys. want to click File now that you've matched the colors as best as possible. Share and File again. Okay, now it's loaded. We're going to just download it to the computer. It's a short little clip. So click next, it's being very slow. Basically just let it download to your computer and I'll see you in the next step. Okay, now we're back in our original video. Fittingly named video. Uh, you see we have this black background thing. If it would load you would see it. There we go. Do we want the black background? No. So now it's time to kill it. What you want to do is that's an alarm going off. Okay, the alarm's done. You want to split the video clip and yeah, you don't even have to split it actually. Just I do just to see exactly where it was. But just delete this clip right there. We don't need it anymore. So go over now to your downloaded uh, file. That was the effect we were working on. Just drag it over and plop it right down here, right on the edge of that split. So now we scroll over. OK, it's done loading. Um, now you can scroll over. You can see it's just all green. Oh, no. So. What we're going to do this time is not going to be picture in picture. I think, as you may have guessed, it's going to be green slash blue screen. So now we'll see what happens. Kind of like magic. Nothing, nothing. Boom. Our spell is there. But it looks really ugly. Super ugly. All you have to do, this is the fastest part. Click the eraser. Click there, boom, all gone. But you can do more than that. Just, just go bam. Slide that way, it's perfect. So as you can see, the softness really helps and kind of matters a lot. Some people just want to use the eraser, but softness helps a lot also. So our final clip, looking back, swinging so it's on forward, and bam, we have our laser, and. To change the position, this is why I said it's so important, you'd have to go all the way back, edit that one little movie we made that we downloaded. So that's why it's really important to get to pl the placing and the length perfect on the first try. So guys, that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to help you out because I certainly wish there was one of these. When I was looking, when I was trying to make a movie for myself using those footage crate effects. If you haven't heard of footage crate, you should definitely go check them out. They have a bunch of really cool free effects that I always use. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.